Hello and welcome to the Stains tutorial of Diamond Film Restoration version 10.5. This tutorial shows how to deal with heavily stained material uh, in Diamond. First, let's play through the scene that you have that you have an idea about what we would like to fix or reduce. In this case, we have this heavily green stained material, uh, which we want to enhance and reduce the green stains. To deal with such things, we have a new filter in 10.5 called stain. So let me put in this filter on the filter on the timeline. I open up now my selection filter selection widget and the stain filter is in my repair group so I click on the stain and it will be automatically inserted to my timeline. The best way to operate this filter is that we select first a reference frame which does not have too much stain on it so it should have a very little stain uh, compared to the other frames. It can contain a little stain, but it should not have a lot of stains, like this one. So I make this to my reference frame, pressing the R key. And this will be now my reference frame. The next step is to select on a stained image close to the reference frame, uh, the areas containing stains. So I'm using now my brush tool, it's selecting now areas containing different types of stain, which I would like to address. I could select stains even on different images and also on several reference frame. So let me choose another frame as reference frame, like this one. And I will select some stain here too. So each marked stain will be compared on the same position to the reference frame and the algorithm will learn the difference between stain and no stain. So that's why it's important that the reference frame itself does not contain any stain on that position where I'm drawing my regions. Let me explain now the parameters of the stain filter. The first parameter is method. I have different methods to deal with stains. In this case, we have three different methods. The first one is blending. Uh, with blending, the detected stains areas, of which are detected because of my reference frames and my selection, uh, will be fixed by blending the information from the reference frame on the detected stain areas to the current image. Um, this might work in some cases, but not in all. The next one is color correction. In color correction, actually, we do apply a color correction on the stain detected areas according a color transform according to the difference from the learned information to the, to the color where it should be. And the third is smoothing. Um, that's smoothing out leftovers of stain over the time. So sometimes you would you will need different stain filters on top of each other. I try to start with color correction because this one is trying to remove the color cast uh, and it's the safest way to, to work with. However, sometimes it will lead to an overcorrection or an undercorrection. So that's what we have to check. Um, the next parameter is the tolerance. The tolerance is, uh, this is the tolerance 
for detecting the stained areas. So let me make this a little bit higher. So with higher tolerance, I get more stain detections. With lower tolerance, I get less. Then there is default the spatial repair mode, or we also have a temporal repair mode. On heavy stained materials like this, a spatial only repair will probably not lead to an enough reduction. So the spatial only is good if you have just lightweight stained color cast to remove, but on this heavy stained material, uh, I also have to add a temporal. Um, then the temporal works over three frames. It could be more, but then it gets dangerous on heavy motion. So let's try with three. Then the next parameter is the luminance. And the luminance is defaultly turned off, which means I leave the luma values here and just repair the chrominance part of the image. Uh, which is a little bit safer, but maybe not enough. So you have to, to check with your material if you need to add luminance as well. Okay, so let me render uh, now, now this by clicking, going into my render menu and say render all. It now will analyze first learn the stain uh, and then we'll apply the repair of it. And as we can see, we get a good reduction already, toggling before and after. So we have here a reduction. Uh, maybe the reduction, the reduction is good. So it is removing quite a lot of stain already, but maybe it's not there where you want to have it. So in this case, as I said, let's play it in a side-by-side -side way, side-by-side -side horizontal, and let's play. On the left side, you will see the original. On the right side, you see the reduced stain uh, with the first reduction. So in this case, in the heavy stained material, I tend to use the stain filter again with a different parametrization. So again, I add a stain. It will ask me if I want to have a new track. Yes, I want. And in this case, I will select the, the smoothing parameter of it. And since I can select on which channels I want to apply this, so let me go to the original and check the channels. This is my R channel. This is the G channel. This is the B channel. I can see that the R channel is quite good. So I disable the red channel in this case, and I will render now the stain in the smoothing mode on top of it. And let's see, toggle between before after. Yeah, that looks quite much nicer already. So I'm going into the split screen again. I'm not a split screen, sorry, I want to do a the side by side horizontal, left is the original, right is the B. All right. Okay, let me detach the window that we will have a bigger display for this. Um, yeah. So we have now a side by side, left the original and right the de-stained or stain enhanced uh, material. As you can see, it, we do get 
quite a good de-staining uh, with this method. Thank you very much and hope to see you soon.